Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Peace and well today we are cooking bamboo shoots called Malewa in my country. Right here we've started preparing our bamboo shoots. Our Malewa actually. And so you soak them in a saucepan and fill it with water. You make sure all of it is covered. Don't leave any part outside because it will stay hard. So, just pour water. So you cover all of it under water, just like that, and you leave it there for hours. But it's really good to do it overnight. Now we are done with that, so I'll let it sit until I'm ready to prepare the sauce. That's when I'll come back for it. That's how it looks like after soaking it. We've been soaking it for very many hours. So right now we are washing and we'll start preparing it for cooking. This is actually a plant. It grows. It's not a seafood. I know it looks like something from the sea, but it's not. They are called bamboo shoots and they grow in just one they grow in only one area in our country here. They don't grow anywhere else. So you cut into small pieces like that. Because after soaking it it becomes a little soft. Not like how it was before soaking. So it's when you're nice. cutting, you make sure you remove these hard parts. Because it has some hard parts in it. So you remove them, you only take the soft parts. Just like I told you, this is called Malewa. Have you ever eaten it or not? Is this your first time to see it? Let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever tested it? Tell me how it tastes like. Or if you know any other way of cooking it, you can also let me know. Because this is the only way that I know. I'll stick right here and see how we make this delicacy. You can also try it. You can find it in any market. In my country, I don't know about your countries. <laughs> but in my country, if you're from here, you can find it in any market. So those are the hard parts I was telling you about. You remove all the hard parts and you stay with only this. So after slicing into pieces, you just put water and you boil for about an hour. Right now we've put on fire and added a little salt. So I'll just cover and let it boil for one hour. Then we shall go ahead. That's it. It has been already an hour. Right now our sauce is ready. We'll go ahead and put our spices. So you add some little oil. Onions. So after frying the tomatoes, we put in our malewa first. Look at this one. It has a lot of meat. <laughs> after adding the after adding the malewa, then you put ground nuts. You can mix them before adding or you can still put them and they mix while boiling. So after putting the ground nuts, you let it boil for about 5 minutes. Then you reduce the fire and you let it simmer for something like 30 minutes and your sauce will be ready. So right now our food is ready. It's time for serving. The best part of cooking is this one. Is there any specific food you eat with this sauce? Half an I don't know. But if you know, 
you can still let me know in the comment section below because for us we have it with any kind of food and right now it's posho ugali and our sauce is right here so that's our food I think we have had one of the most delicious and healthy meals ever. Fresh juice, fresh food. Well, this sauce goes with almost anything. Posho, matoke, rice, almost anything actually. I've not tried it with other foods, but hey, it's delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Share this video. I'll be glad to hear from you. See you in the next one. Ciao.